To some more business news, last year Home Africa gross sales increased by 8% to 921 million shillings from 849 million shillings the previous year. The company, however, went deeper into the red zone, reporting an 8% increase of its loss position to 181 million shillings compared to 186 million shillings in 2016. Home Africa's financial performance may be baffling to some, and Alex Mwangi spoke to its managing director, Dan Awendo, to get more insight about the state of the firm's health and the strategies going forward. He began by asking him what the misconception people have about Home Africa, given its current share price of 80 cents per share, against an initial listing price of 25 shillings per share. The misconception initially was that, you know, this company is not being run very well and that uh, we have governance issues that we have to, to deal with. Over time, we've taken that as a challenge and we've, uh, I think, built a very good governance structure as of now. Another misconception has been from a profitability perspective. I think there is a huge expectation uh, that any company that is operating on the stock exchange must post profits on a, on a, on a quarterly basis or even on an, annual, on an annual basis. In recent months, the share price of Home Africa has been quite depressed. What would you say to someone who is looking at Home Africa's share price as an investment opportunity, especially given that depressed state? First of all, I think that Home Africa, as a real estate development company, is a fantastic uh, company from, for a long-term investor, not for a speculator. Uh, for the simple reason that uh, from a medium to long term perspective, that kind of investor will have a very good return, given that our, our profits continue to remain in our balance sheet and will therefore accrue in the, into the PL over time. What progress have you made so far in the 2 billion shilling capital raising initiative? We started this process somewhere in the, in the third quarter of last year. Uh, we are hopeful that we will complete it this year. We have been talking to quite a number of investors. Uh, some investors have gone into some initial due diligence processes. We are hoping that uh, possibly the two billion will be two or three investors, but also uh, it could be just one investor. Remember also the fundraising that we're doing is primarily to complete the bigger project. As far as being listed in the gems market is concerned, how has it benefited Home Africa? Has it been an asset or a liability? Certainly it's been an asset. Um, I, can tell, I can tell you for sure that um, the, the first thing that we, that we gained from listing on the gems was to be able to raise funds. Uh, remember that we had shareholders who we had started the company with. Those shareholders have been able to discover some uh, level of uh, uh, value of their share. Home Africa's total assets grew by 600 million shillings to 4.5 billion shillings last year. The company acknowledges that its market capitalization is not reflective of the size of its balance sheet, especially when current land market values are factored in. In the financials, when you're looking at the revenue, our revenue must be adjusted against the current state and percentage of completion of the project. So if the project is completed only 30%, then it means the sales that we make on any particular year we can only take in a sales 30% of those sales into our PNL. The rest of the sales are put in the balance sheet as deferred income. Thank you very much, Dan. You're most welcome. Asante.